Well, I'm going to make another attempt at this video. I've, <laughs> my wife and I have had to move in with my 90-year-old mother to provide hospice care for her. Um, I don't anticipate it's going to be much longer, unfortunately. She's not doing well at all. But she's definitely well enough to call me for something about every two or three minutes. Kind of like the old uh, ring, ring the bell skit. Anyway, um, I'll be glad when I'm back in my shop. Anyway, I'm back here. I'd had to let the uh, had to let the doggies in. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Okay. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, no, your brother peed on you. Your brother peed on you. Yeah, I had to take a break there. Got a couple of toy fox terriers in the mail. If I'm not out there, Johnny, on the spot, he likes to uh, come over and lift his leg on his sister when she's trying to relieve herself. Marcus territory, I guess. Anyway... They're rascals. I love them. So, with that being said, the FMS 800 millimeter wingspan T28 Trojan. I think it's a wonderful little airplane, but it does have a few shortcomings. Uh, one is the horizontal stabilizer, the elevators, lack of movement. We took care of that. It's wonderful now. Next thing is the ambiguous instructions for the reflex gyro. We took care of that. It's working actually quite well. I like it. And it's nice that you can turn it off with the flick of a switch altogether. It's you've got three modes. You've got a AS3X like mode if uh, you know what spectrum equipment is like. It's got what I would call a safe like mode and then you can turn it off. So that's worked out nice. And that brings me to what I think is going to be the last upgrade I'm going to need to do to it and that's the ESC. The speed controller that came stock on this unit while it functioned it had 24 gauge wire for the battery lead and it suffices using two cells but you put a three cell battery in here and fly aggressively and these wires heat up so I was thinking about peeling back the heat shrink here and soldering on some heavier leads but Hobby King and Turnagy have a very inexpensive line of ESC's the plush 32 series I put in a 30 amp and you can see the leads on here are much heavier well you know you're going to have to take my word for it because all you can see is the the casing, the uh, insulator, but it is indicative of how heavy the wire is inside. If this was 24 gauge, I would say this is easy 18 gauge inside of here. And there's no problem now with three cell batteries. It doesn't heat up a bit. Performance is excellent and it's very easy to program good instructions the only thing I'll mention here real quick the Hobby King ESC it comes with bare wires on both the battery lead and where it connects to the motor um, you're gonna have to put two millimeter female connectors on and then sleeve them with heat shrink this is what I used I think I paid six bucks for this set off from Amazon and it's the two millimeter female works perfect matches up 
with what's on the motor and uh, I'm using Dean's connectors on all of my stuff so I tried these for the first time and they seem to work pretty good these are the uh, AMAS brand which is the same brand uh, Hobby King uses on all their batteries um, it's the AMAS uh, uh, updated Dean's connector. They've got this little gray sleeve that you put on before soldering and then after you're done you can slide it up and snap it into place and it helps afford uh, a little more insurance that you're not going to have the leads contact and short out and it also gives you a little little bigger area to grip there when you're plugging and unplugging your connector and uh, it seems to work out good and just like any of these connectors you have to be careful when you're soldering you got to get in and get out quick if you build up too much heat you're going to melt it but i've got a new wing ordered for this a replacement wing i'm gonna try to put flaps on this we'll see how it goes probably gonna be a couple weeks before I have all the parts for it and uh, anyway that's uh, all that my battery tray I kind of put a little piece of 1 16th inch birch model plywood epoxied it in there with the uh, velcro and uh, that worked out real nice so I can place the battery in there and get the center of gravity right where I want it. Get a little better look at the uh, that Hobby King ESC down in there. My next project, I'm gonna turn my attention to the uh, E-Flight. I've got an old E-Flight 1.2 meter Trojan sitting back there. That's the model with the factory retracts and factory flaps and I'm having some receiver problems on it so I've got a uh, Spectrum AR630 I'm going to install and I would have it in there right now except I want to do for some forward programming on it getting get the gyro all squared away first generation DX8 so it is not capable of doing the forward programming on the receivers. I have it ordered and impatiently waiting for the new transmitter to arrive. It's uh, NX10. FMS T28, great little airplane with a few minor corrections and that's that's what the hobby's all about i i have almost as much fun working on these things as i do flying them almost